one shot and why do you choose to make everything in, in one shot instead of dividing in several cuts? It is a process. At the beginning I was cutting and then uh, it was a film historian, he was writing a book and he was measuring how year by year my takes getting longer and longer. And uh, but anyway, this is a fact. Uh, you know what? First of all, if you do a long take, and uh, I keep it his face, in a 10 minutes long, he cannot escape. <laughs> he locked. He became more and more nervous and he will be in the situation even if he wants to escape. And you know, if you are building up a situation and you keep it down, and sometimes when they finish the scene, I do not switch off the camera. I just get him rolling. I leave it, keep rolling, 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 because that will be the part what I will use for the film. When, when they are just being. Because, you know, for me, the film is picture, written, uh, human communication, eyes, emotions. And how can I see his emotions? Only in his eye. The text is, I, I never care about. Uh, one thing is important, of course, the, why I like very much the long takes, because during of the movement, I have wide pictures, I have close-ups, I have uh, middle takes, I have a landscape. I'm cutting, but in the camera, not on the editing table. You know? It's, you can see the cuts, even if you do, if I did not cut because the whole stuff is moving fluidly. And this is, it's also very important for me because the long take has a special attention for the actors, for the crew, for everybody. And of course, I get uh, a lot of things together and, and I'm lazy. I don't like to, uh, to sit in a closed, dark editing room. That's maybe my personal reason. But anyway, it sounds like a joke, but I really don't like it. Because I don't believe. You know, I believe if you can have it in the location, in this case, you have your scene. I don't believe if you have a something and then we will cut it and it will be okay. No. If you have no real tension between the people in the location, you are fucked up in the editing room. That's sure. And you are more together with the people when you have a long take. I don't know, maybe just because I like it. <coughs> Questions or comments? If not, I'll take one more there in the back. Good night. I just have one question for you. See you. <laughs> when, when you shoot, what reads the action? The actors of the or the camera? Sorry? When you shoot, when you're on the set, what leads the action? Uh, the actors or the camera? Both. Both? Both. <laughs> uh, you know, it's... When you are in the set, we call it set. Doesn't matter if we are on the Hungarian lowland. Uh, you know, it's... You are there with your actors and you know the situation. 
and you explain to them the situation. And at the same time, you are explaining for the camera what will happen. And everything has to happen together. I cannot say the camera is following the scene, because in this case, uh, somehow the camera is really looks like out of the situation. And I cannot say the camera, I'm building up the situations and tell to the actors, you, can, you have to turn when the camera is there, because in this case, the choreography of the camera dictating for uh, the scene, which is also wrong. You have to do it everything together. This is, uh, which is somehow, if the camera is following the scene, mm -hmm, because it's not, not a part of the scene. If uh, the actors are following the camera, it's, it's also, you know, in this case, became a bullet. Which is, which is also not, you know, you, you have to be, <coughs> you have to do everything at the same moment. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. so if we don't have any more questions, uh, I'd like to thank Valentine for being here. I would like to say a big thanks for your attention. Ben Rivers, a round of applause. <laughs> and we'll thank Dennis Lim as well. And uh, we'll be back in just a few weeks with Nelson Pereira dos Santos, the father of Cinema Novo, and Victor Gaviria for a wide-ranging discussion.